It is not a taser. It is not a porta potty. Hey, how are you? There are a lot of scams out there these days. This is not one of them. This is a Tascam Porta Capture X6. Dad humor, sorry. Anyways, huge thanks to Tascam for sending this out for me to keep and have and own and play with. It's a toy. Come on, these are toys, right? And I'm making a video with this toy. I love fun toys. You never really grow up, right? You get toys when you're a kid, but... Recently, I've had a number of on-location situations where the audio I captured was brutal. Like, it was horrible. I, like, used my phone or something. I just didn't have the gear. And I thought, there's got to be something out there that can help with this. Something easy to port around. And I'm not a microphone audio expert, so I don't know all the gear that exists out there, right? It's just, there's so many options. Just so many options out there, I didn't even know what to look for. But because it was on my mind, I happened to notice Sean Daniels' video about the Porta Capture X8 from Tascam. I'll link that video in the description. And I saw that and I was like, oh, that's exactly the kind of thing I need. So short story long, I now have this version called the X6. And what's the difference between the X8 and the X6? No, I'm asking you. You have the internet. Go look and leave me alone. No, and leave me a comment. Sorry. <laughs> the short of it, the X6 has more thingies. It has more inputs. It has more, has more stuff. So I'm going to be mainly using this for capturing guitar and vocals, but it's designed to cover a wide variety of situations. So let's cycle through the menu items here. You can see exactly what it's designed for. It has these presets. So you've got ASMR mode. If you don't know what that is, I don't, I don't really care. Uh, voice, music, manual, which is you can set whatever you want, field, and podcast. So I'm going to focus on music and field in this video. I'm also going to use manual mode in one point. And uh, we're going to play around with the settings. I'm going to show you how it works, set it up. But uh, before we go ahead, there's a, a Bluetooth adapter add-on. So let's install that. You actually have to stick. It's a piece of hardware. You got to stick that in there and then install the uh, smartphone app, if you choose, it's called Tascam X, and it's an app and I'm installing it on my iPhone. I've also updated to the latest firmware version for the X6 at the time of the release of this video. Also to mention, before we get going, it takes four AA batteries, comes with four alkaline, but you can also use NIMH, nickel, metal hydrate, or lithium, uh, whatever kind of AA batteries you have, or you can use USB power going up. So you can see here, I've got mine mounted on a Ulanzi, Ulanzi tripod with their Falcam F38 quick release system. Nothing to do with Tascam, it's just what I'm using. It doesn't come with a tripod or anything like that, so I'm using that. That's what I'm, that's my choice. Uh, I'll put links in the description. I love these things, these F38s. These are my go-to tripod mounts and tripods and stuff like that. So again, I'm not an expert in that kind of stuff. I'm learning all this stuff. No, I am an expert in all that stuff. I'm an expert. Yeah, do what I say. All right, let's quickly talk about the input output options. So you've got the two built-in mics at the top. They can swivel, they're in stereo. You can have them in phase, you can have them out of phase. You can do whatever you want with it. Uh, you can also plug in two XLR mics and enable phantom power, which is huge if it's needed. You've also got a headphone out, a line out, and there's also another line in microphone on the side. Controls are pretty intuitive. The buttons on the front, pretty self-explanatory. The one thing that I couldn't figure out, I had to look it up, is this dial. It's for it's for adjusting the mixers and the sound levels. So it's pretty cool. It's very smooth, so it helps to do fine, fine adjustments. All right, we're in this uh, sound studio here. So let's go into the real world and capture some outside sounds. Did you know there's a real world? Sometimes I forget. There's actually people and stuff. Let's go and uh, we'll capture some stuff and then we'll capture some music too.
Okay, back in the room. I actually didn't go anywhere, but it's one thing to capture a sound in this treated room, right? So let's capture some outdoor live music. And in my backyard, I set up a little uh, setup for an acoustic set. There's an air conditioner on behind me in the backyard, my neighbor's air conditioner. Cars driving by, wind, other noises, stuff, probably birds flying by, alien ships, stuff like that. So we'll see how it performs outside. All right, reverb at 66, this is a small hall. Small hall, reverb, 66. And now we're magically back in the house here again. That was a nice, nice sunny day. Beautiful to be outside. Look at that sun. It's pretty. Okay, now we're back in here. Let's plug my guitar into one of my amps. We'll set the X6 to manual mode and we'll capture the room with the two front mics. At the same time, I'm going to plug in a Royer R10 XLR mic into one of the inputs. Input three. So you go into manual mode so you can actually see all the different inputs you have going. Go back and forth here, how it sounds. Okay, there you go. Here's my thoughts about it all. Like a summary, pros and cons. I've uh, spent a few weeks with it. Uh, what do I like about it? First off, the uh, Tascam X app is awesome. I, I tested it on iOS, on my iPhone only, so I can't speak for Android, but it's really great to have that to monitor your setup and make fine adjustments remotely. If you see you have the microphone positioned, like I did in the backyard, I had it away from my stool and uh, where I was playing guitar. Almost made a stool sample joke, can't help it. So yeah, I had that little display because the, the actual task cam was not facing me. I couldn't see the screen, so I had that. Really cool. So I would recommend getting the Bluetooth. It's like 30 bucks for that add-on, which I'll, I'll touch on in a, in a moment. Uh, the touch screen is really good on the X6. The response is really good. The menus are pretty straightforward. Uh, it's loaded with features. So if you're an audio enthusiast, you might appreciate it more than I could. Like you can set the bit rate, you can set all the different settings. I just left everything kind of as is and uh, you know, didn't really fool around too much. Uh, so far the battery life is really good. I have to do more testing to see how long I can actually get from 
four double A's and uh, I'll find out in the future, I guess. So it's got a plastic build. If you, if you dropped it on a hard surface, I don't think it would do okay. It is well built. It, uh, it just feels very plasticky, right? There's nothing wrong with that. It makes it lighter, but if you drop it, that's my concern. There's no memory card included, so keep that in mind. I happen to have a spare memory card, so I use that. The Bluetooth add-on is required to use the app, so gotta keep that in mind too. Uh, it does pick up the sounds of your hands if you are touching the unit while you're recording, so I recommend placing it somewhere on a tripod or away from your hands. So if you're moving, you know, Kind of like your phone too. I guess your phone would do that too. A smartphone, if you're moving your hands on your phone, microphones are gonna pick up the sound. I don't always do recommendations, but I, I would like to see maybe the uh, Bluetooth adapter bundled either with the hardware or future updates have it built in. I'm not sure why it's not on board in this case. Uh, overall, does a great job. It's uh, something that I'll be taking with me on location whenever I do video shoots. It's exactly what I was looking for. Something to capture high quality sounds without having to drag around a computer and a separate audio interface. It basically, it's an all in one little unit that uh, does everything. Uh, and if you need more tracks, more inputs, you might want to check out the X8. Mention I'll, I'll link Sean Daniel's video in the description so you can see that model. And so for my needs though, the X6 has enough. It's perfect. So anyways, huge thanks again to Tascam. Check out my links if you want to grab one or any other musical stuff. Check out my links below. Got you covered no matter where you are in the world. Sweetwater, Toman, probably Amazon. I don't even know. You take a look. You can figure out the best spot for you. And as always, play guitar and have fun. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.